All right, let's start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakakwadash. In Hebrew, that's the name of our Almighty Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, so great millstone for teaching us this truth. Honor to the brothers that's pushing this truth, risking their life and freedom to do so, and also. Honor to the hopeful elect, the one-third of our people. That's to turn it back to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai during these final moments so that he will have mercy on us in his time of judgment. So we back with another lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This is going to be World War Three update number 28. Hey, I've been doing a lot of these World War Three updates for a reason. To show people that we at the point of no return in prophecy this war prophecy itself is not gonna de-escalate things not gonna go back to normal things gonna continue to escalate and get worse and worse for example like this World War three because if you paid attention to America's media you wouldn't think that this war is a real danger to the people in America, you would think that it's just another war like the war in the Middle East that's going to take place, you know, off the coast of America. This war is going to come to American soil. This is the build up to it. All these countries is really going at it. And America is sort of behind the scenes, pulling a bunch of str pulling a bunch of strings. All these, all these countries are going to come at America. So, you know, I'm not going to do World War Three updates forever. And when will I stop? When America finally declares war, when the people finally understand that America is directly in the war, then I stop doing World War Three updates. Or when they called in the draft of all the men in America, then I stop doing World War Three updates because it's going to be understood then. I ain't got to do lessons and try to teach and break down through the scriptures to show that a massive world war is brewing up. It's going to be all in your face. Prophecy going to be in your face. But until then, I'm going to, you know, give updates on the war, let people know how close we is because that's a big event. That's the biggest event prophesied in history. All the ancient prophets talked about a certain day. And that day is the nuclear destruction. That's the end of the world. You thought it was you thought it was a place called hell opening up out of ground. But it's really the nuclear destruction. Everybody's curious about the end. When the end of the world gonna be? How it's going to end. It's going to end in nuclear destruction. So we see the build up to, every, to everybody's question. It's right here in our faces. So that's how we got to do these World War Three updates. And not only that, it's really interesting what's going on out there. <clears throat> but you see the title to this video here. Breaking. Iran drones slam Ukraine. In the title of this video, Iran and Russia alliance deepens as Iranian drones blast Ukraine. So yeah, Russia been mopping the flow with Ukraine thanks to these Iranian drones. But I got a, a string of videos, some real short, some a couple minutes. So let's let these play. And that's the spirit when you go here. It, it reads, Iran has been Russia's best friend. Yeah, because Iran has probably been the biggest help to Russia so far in this war with Ukraine and America, thanks to these 
Iranian drones. But let's get on to the next clip. But you see, Russia rains fire on 40 Ukrainian cities with Iranian drones. So yeah, Iran, hey, they really came through. They gonna continue to come through. Not to mention, they gonna completely annihilate the country of Israel. But let's get on to our next clip here. It's two and a half minutes. Matter of, matter of fact, we're going to get a quick scripture real quick. Ezekiel 38, verse 3. And say, thus says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Now, I just did a lesson on this. The battle of Gog and Magog. Magog is a landmass, which would be the region of Russia today. And Gog is the future prince or the future ruler of the land of Magog, which will be Putin. So, I'm against the old God, Vladimir Putin, you know, the future prince of the land of Magog and Rush. Verse 4, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. So, pretty much, America, excuse me, Russia, will no longer be friendly with America that the Lord will put that old Soviet Union spirit back on Russia. That's what it means when it says, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And that's proved, because right after the Lord says he will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws, it continues to read, and I will bring thee forth. And how is the Lord going to bring Gog and Magog forth? How is the Lord going to bring Russia forth? I will bring thee forth an all-dying army. What happened at the start of the year? Putin, Russia started mobilizing their military, the Navy, the Air Force, their nuclear arsenal. What's going on, going on now? They're continuing to mobilize more troops for the war. Now they're calling up a draft. Now they're trying to send in over one million troops to Ukraine. So yeah, I will bring thee forth in all thine army, horses and horsemen. The horses will be these military vehicles, the tanks. The horsemen will be the troops that command these horses, that command and drive the military vehicles. All of them clothed with all sorts of armor. Yeah, this is future prophecy. So Ezekiel didn't understand all sorts of armor. It didn't understand armored vehicles, bomb-proof vehicles, bulletproof vests, bulletproof windows. That's the all sorts of armor. Even a great company with bucklers and shields. That great company is the military. Russia has a massive military. All of them handling swords. Now that's firepower. Everything from a handgun to an assault rifle to rocket launchers to killer drones verse 5 persia ethiopia and libya with them with who with russia with gog and magog all of them with shield and helmet meaning that they come into battle on the side of russia now persia is literally iran if you look up ancient world maps Prior to the 1700s, um, Persia is Iran. Iran, Iraq, literally. Syria, Ethiopia, and Libya, that would be these other Islamic nations. You know, the Middle East, who America been fighting with, well, they allies with Russia. And right now, they've been one of Russia's uh, best friends in this war. So we got that understood. So yeah, I will bring thee forth all thy army, horses and horsemen, 
All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them handing in swords. That's that firepower. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya. With them, all of them with shield and helmet. So yes, yeah, prophesied that Iran and Iraq, Syria, or Persia would be a great help to Russia, you know, the land of Gog and Magog in this final battle. Folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. We've been telling you here for months now about that growing alliance between Russia and Iran. Now, both of these nations are charter members of what I call the Gathering Storm Alliance. That includes Russia, Iran, China, and North Korea. But what's that Gathering Storm? That's that nuclear destruction. Alliance that includes Russia, Iran, China, and North Korea. But Russia and Iran in particular have really increased their cooperation in a variety of areas in recent weeks. Of course, in July, Vladimir Putin visited Tehran, met with Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei and the President Ibrahim Raisi. And folks, that was only the tip of the iceberg. Iran sees itself, as we've described here in the newscast, as a drone superpower, not only in the region, but globally. And So yeah, Iran is considered a drone superpower. So when it comes to weaponizing drones, Iran said at the top. So let's go back. Newscast as a drone superpower, not only in the region, but globally, and Russia is utilizing that Iranian drone know-how to great effect on the battlefields of Ukraine right now. Here is the latest. You've probably heard by now, and we reported here in the newscast yesterday, about this Russian bombardment in recent days of Ukraine. At least 86 ballistic missiles fired by Russian forces at Ukrainian civilian infrastructure and civilian areas. Well, drones have also been part of this onslaught. Now, Iran has reportedly supplied hundreds, at least, of their drones to Russia, their attack drones, the Ukrainians are saying, look, some 2,400 Iranian drones have been ordered by Russia and they are be being deployed throughout Ukraine on the battlefield. It is the Shahed-136 drone, to be precise. Russian forces have trained in Iran on how to use these Iranian drones. Now, they have met with mixed success reportedly on the battlefield, these Iranian drones, in some cases have not performed very well, but in other cases they have done their job. And that job is essentially to be loaded with explosives and flown into a target in Ukraine. Now they've been called kamikaze drones, suicide drones. The bottom line is the main purpose for them is to be, again, packed with explosives that can do a whole lot of damage and kill a whole lot of people. Iran has obviously used that to great effect throughout. So, yeah. These killer drones, they've been called kamikaze drones or suicide drones. Now, they are very efficient because they, they, uh, they don't cost that much compared to regular missiles. And they pretty much like toy airplanes that's loaded with explosives. And since it's pretty much a toy, it's made out of fiberglass, plastic, not that much metal. So it's almost impossible to detect by radar. You know, a radar, you can see a missile or airplane coming through, but they got no way to detect these. And by the time you see it or hear it in the sky, you know it's already too late. And that's going to bring us into our next video right here. Ukrainians refer to the projectiles that produce this sound as flying lawnmowers of death. This video captures the deadly addition to Putin's arsenal of long-range weaponry, the Iranian Shahed-136 Kamikaze drone, used by Russia as part of the deadly attack on civilian targets across Ukraine. Nah, that's propaganda. They keep saying they use them on civilians. 
Russia is attacking their infrastructure, just like Ukraine and America blew up Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipeline, just like America and Ukraine blew up the bridge that links Russia and Crimea. Putin not attacking the people, he attacking the infrastructure. Hey, and people just so happened to be in the area. But hey, people was on that bridge when America blew up that bridge just a week or two ago. But let's let this first part play again. He called them flying lawnmowers of death because of the sound that these drones make. Ukrainians refer to the projectiles that produce this sound as flying lawnmowers of death. This video captures the deadly addition to Putin's arsenal of long-range weaponry, the Iranian Shahed 136 Kamikaze drone. Ukrainians refer to the projectiles that produce this sound as flying lawnmowers of death. And what do lawnmowers do? They cut grass. But let me show you why that's spiritual. And this war it, it's, it's spiritual. Let me let me show you why that's spiritual. So when we hit Psalms 92 and 7, when the wicked spring up as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. So who's the wicked? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, Malachi 1 and 4. The Lord listed Edom, the Edomites, as the wicked. So when the wicked or the white man spring as the grass, so the wicked, the white man, the Edomites, the house of Esau, is being compared to as grass that spring, you know, in the spring and the summer. <clears throat> and now uh, these killer drones is being called the flying lawnmowers of death. And who is these flying lawnmowers of death attacking? It's attacking the house of Esau. You got white on white drama, white on white crime. So yeah, the wicked is being compared to as the grass. And the Lord put it in the spirit where they call these killer drones lawnmowers of death. It's bringing death to the wicked that sprung up as the grass. How did the wicked spring up as the grass? Well, for the most part, the white man has a big population in the earth. Their kingdom is erected. They um they in power right now, so they standing firm. But these lawnmowers of death, these killer drones, mowing Esau down. <coughs> But I thought that was spiritual. But we're going to get into some more of these little clips I got. Now we're going to see these killer drones in action. That's the flying lawnmower of death. I, just, I can't help but to read it again. When the wicked spring up as the grass, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. And yep, the Lord got these drones called lawnmowers of death. It's cutting down that wicked grass known as the so-called white man. <laughs> And yeah, you see why it's called a kamikaze drone or a suicide drone. They literally fly into the target and explode, which that's fitting for it to be Iran's drones. Because, you know, over there in the so-called Middle East, they like to do suicide bombings. You know, they strap a bomb to themselves and blow everything up in the vicinity. Well, that's fitting that... Iran, the Middle East, they made their drones to pretty much be suicide bombers like the people used to. And this wrecking havoc over there in Ukraine right now. <laughs> Alright, but anyways... 
I got a couple more. Here go another one. There's no sound, but check it out. These things taking out tanks. Yeah, that's some kamikaze drones. Them suicide drones. Nothing but a paper, nothing but a toy plane, pretty much, that you can dang there and get at Walmart. But just, you know, a little bigger. And watch how they control it. You control it like you're playing a video game. You're going to have a joystick that's connected to a camera that we're about to see in a minute. Right there, that's how you control it. It's like you're playing a video game. Officials say in Monday's attack, Russia launched more than a dozen Shahed Kamikaze drones in a matter of hours. Ukraine was only able to shoot down half of them. They've been spotted in the skies over Ukrainian cities, including here over Odessa, although Iran denies and Russia won't confirm the use of the deadly drones. We know that U.S. intelligence has estimated a transfer of several hundred of these drones to Russia because these drones can fly uh, at well over 200 to 300 kilometers. Um, they were uh, basically uh, used as a cheap weapon, cheap terror weapon to strike uh, Ukrainian infrastructure across the country. Cheaper for Russia than cruise missiles, each of which costs millions of dollars. <laughs> Putin's military is using them primarily. Man, so yeah, y'all saw that. Let me go back. Hello. Each of which costs millions of dollars. Putin's military is. That's jacked up. You see a toy plane in the sky. To find out that it's about to crash into something and blow it up. But yeah, uh, that's going to take us to our last scripture, Job 3 and 10. Be your plowshares and the swords, and your pruning hooks and the spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. A plowshare and a pruning hook is the tool of a servant. You know, a weak man. Meanwhile, the swords and the spears are the tools of of a man of war, of a strong man. The weak serve the strong. So be your plowshares and the swords, turn your pruning hooks into spears. That's an upgrade. Let the weak say I am strong. So these countries that was considered weak, like Iran, you know, in the early 2000s, they not, they, they, they don't gotta bow down to these, uh, powerful countries no more they can you know they can meet heads up you know at the round table you know america like to sit all these countries down and try to talk them into not developing nuclear weapons well iran sitting at that table now nah, they developing nuclear weapons they got killer drones that's the weak saying i am strong and how ironic the same enemy that America, you know, been bullying for 20 years, now in 2022, in the midst of prophecy in World War III, you got Iran helping Russia in war, giving Russia new weapons that the Russians or America ain't got. And it's mopping the flow in Ukraine. These killer drones, that's the weak saying I am strong. For even Iran, to come to Russia and be like, hey, I'm going to supply you with some of our weapons. What is that? Let the weak, those who used to be weak, consider weak, like the Iran in the Middle East, they saying I am strong. 
they went to Russia and said, hey, I think we got something that'll benefit you. And it's been a great success. So yeah, beat your plowshares and the swords and your pruning hooks and the spears. Let the weak say I am strong. So in the conversation of who got the greatest military or the superpowers of the world, you got to throw Iran on that list now. And you're going to really understand how powerful Iran is once they nuke Israel. But that's World War Three update number 28. He's wanted to show these suicide drones that Russia is using and to show the fact that Russia and Iran has a deep alliance, you know, and we can find that in Ezekiel 35, Ezekiel 38, you know, verse 5. Persia, Ethiopia, all of them with shield and helmet. So, yeah, until next time, Shalom.